first I want to say that I think I really disagree with your viewpoint of it because I think people should be asking questions about gay people even though they are often a little bit stupid sounding. You gotta keep in mind that it's like a completely different subculture that people don't really understand. And yeah, sometimes people can be stupid sounding or offensive. And it's when people are offensive, people really need to be careful where they stand when they're asking questions. The question that is especially offensive is, you do realize that it's a sin, right? Or something like that. And to that, I feel like gay people really just need to say something like, I don't believe in your pile of dog shit Bible. Don't tell me things like that. I don't believe in it. Because the argument is overused about the all the different sins that are ridiculous. You know, nobody cares. I hear it all the time. You just you got to disregard their entire religion because they always have that as a default. But nobody needs sin weighed in their face. So that's the rude one. Um, some that I get and some more masculine gay guys get is, are you sure that you're gay? You don't seem like you're gay. And that's its own problem is that people think that if you don't wave a rainbow flag around and act real femme and, you know, dance around all Nelly and go limperous that, you know, you must not be gay because gay people are everywhere and sometimes it's the people that you would least suspect that are and they don't always have gay mannerisms or gay t tones of their voice. They, they sometimes are just like anybody else. And then other people are more in touch with their feminine side. It just depends on the person. But what other questions? They asked about my parents. A lot of people wanted to know if my parents were cool with it. A lot of people wanted to know how I knew that I was or why. Why Why do you like guys? And there's actually a part of your brain that's like a gay part of your brain. And people don't understand that. It's not like... I couldn't even have sex with a woman and enjoy it even if I wanted to because... It's like there's a part of my head that's deflecting it and saying that it just doesn't want it. It just it doesn't work emotionally, physically, anything. So it was never a decision. So why are you gay? Because your brain makes you be gay. Um, you do know that it's a sin, right? Well, no, it's a sin to you <laughs> and I don't really care. And you don't seem like you're gay, and how can you be gay? Well, you can be gay. Anybody can be gay. And you don't have to be into girly stuff to be gay. These are some of the questions that I've been asked a lot. And I've also been asked if uh, I could be attracted to myself. <laughs> Which is funny. I told the guy, no, you you need something else. That's sort of like you being attracted to your sister. <laughs> but I do believe that people need to ask questions. They just lay off the religion stuff. People need to disregard religion. The religion doesn't make any sense with, with gay, which is why they people deflect on the whole sin thing, because it's like they don't know what else to say. They have their default thing that they want to say. But I do believe that people need to ask questions. And I want people to ask me questions. And I want people to get their answers because there's still so many things that people don't understand. People want to assume that me and my boyfriend are having open relationship sex with all kinds of people because that's just what gay people are supposed to do. They just assume that gay people are promiscuous. And no, some of us want monogamous relationships and even adopt kids and have lives that are very much like heterosexuals except we have to do a surrogate or adopt or do foster kids or something else. We can have them biologically, it just it costs us money because we have to use a surrogate. Anyway, but I want people to ask questions and so I don't think there's questions that you shouldn't ask a guy. Just lay off the religion and lay off the sin remarks. That's the one thing that's really important, but I don't really mind answering questions. Just people need to leave religion out of it because then it's just gonna piss everybody off. It's It also pisses gay people off if you're gonna say, oh I don't think that gay people should get married because you know ma marriage should be between a man and a woman. No, your marriage might be to a woman but gay people can marry whoever they want. <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, that's that's a parallel I'm making about people need to leave politics out of their questions and out of their comments, and the same with religious questions and comments, because both things are going to be offensive to people. But I do believe that people need to ask questions and people need to get their answers, because it's, it really isn't something that people understand, just anything about being gay. And then not only that, it's like it's it's very different with each person and, and they don't they don't know what else to do except ask questions of people anyway so I think people should ask and I'm willing to answer anything and I, I want to give video responses to questions because I know that for me I had tons and tons of questions that I asked when I was younger because there was a lot of things that I needed to know it's a completely different universe than being straight but in many ways they may act exactly the same <laughs> it's just a lot more subtle details and it's a lot more being discreet in a lot of ways and it's hard to explain but in a way it's a more hidden world which is why I think people need to ask a lot of questions because it, it doesn't really make sense with their world anyway that's all